up. Hold on. There we go. Sweet. Alice, gifted five gaming beaver. So good. Oh, memberships. Oh, thank you. <gasps> I forget you can do that in this. Sweet. So, yeah. Um, This came out and I was like, oh, okay. Because the first trailer came out and I wasn't really too fussed. Then this one came out and I went, okay, okay. Um, it's got enough things going on to it where I'm like, now I'm just kind of curious, <laughs> basically. What, what, what on earth, what kind of things could we expect from this movie? Um, Biba, I love futuristic dinosaur movie. I know. Andres Costello became a member. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the movie sort of, or at least the, the trailer opens up. I haven't actually done this in order because I'm amazing like this. What we got? Because I kind of want to just discuss the dinosaur designs. Because this is like the big baddie. This is the the T Rex, I'm assuming, or whatever. I feel like because there's parts in this trailer that it says, uh, "Mankind discovered Earth 65 million years ago." It's like, hold up. So, what do you mean, mankind discovered Earth 65 million years ago? Because this spaceship's supposed to crash on Earth. Are you trying to tell me that? man isn't from earth i get the feeling that's what they're going for it's not a time travel i feel like they're trying to say that or maybe we did i don't know there's there's loads of things we can discuss and get into and i'm looking forward to it because it's it's gonna go crazy <laughs> spaceship yeah okay so let me show you spaceship spaceship where's spaceship is this spaceship no that's not spaceship uh spaceship is where is spaceship? We got not that. Oh, hold on, not that. Yeah, let's see if I can find it. Where's spaceship? Spaceship? Not spaceship. Not spaceship. Not spaceship. I got loads of the same. There's spaceship. Although you can't really see spaceship. Hold on, let's move spaceship. Uh, oh god, what did I do? <laughs> Whoops! I didn't click copy. Here we go. So this is spaceship from the movie. Yeah, there you go. So it looks like it has a bit of a satellite to it and it breaks up into multiple parts by the looks of it. Alice! Oh, thanks for the super chat! Your laugh is contagious! Keep being you and thank you for all the content. Oh, thank you! That's very kind of you. Not only have you, like, gifted memberships to people, uh, but you've also, uh, like, in the super chat. That's really nice. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I I'm assuming the movie will open up with the spaceship you know, exploding uh, and crashing on to Earth. I think we've even got, if I just get rid of this, I should have it, not there. This, no, not that. Yeah, this is it. So this is the space, spaceship, spaceship, that one. That's the spaceship there. Um, and it seems like there's only two survivors and one of them is Adam Driver. So Star Wars and dinosaurs is really dipping his feet into the whole uh, I don't know, sci-fi genre? I mean, it's spaceships, right? We can call it sci-fi at this point, even though it has dinosaurs. Mm. Space, I see you and I hear you. Not gonna lie, I hate all of the designs and find all of them boring, bland, and uninspired. <laughs> we'll get into that. Don't worry, we'll get into it. Because my god, there's a lot to say. Uh, Royal Cookie, hey! <laughs> 29 months! Hi, Beaver. Hello! That's a long time. And Toaster Dog has become a new member! Cheers, bruv. Right. So, dinosaurs. Yes. So, I'm, I'm kind of just going to go through these images and just discuss them. Um, because the trailer just kind of, like, throws things at you. Um, so, yeah, this is a scene. I mean, should we... I'll make the chat small, actually. Just so you're not, like... Sort of, kind of going crazy with the images. But you still get your love. You're still there. But we can actually see images now. It's a shame that most things they put to the left. And that's where I am as well. <laughs> um, so I don't know what these things are. Because you're on, you're on a coast, right? And they've shown that there are like normal looking dinosaurs. Oh, we got like, the puppet. The Rex walks on all fours at the 45 second mark. Yes. Yes, you noticed it. Um, and ooh, what's this? Murder most foul. Hi, Viv. I've been trying to catch you live to send my member chat. Uh, my progress got wiped, so I'm back to being on one month. What? How? You've you've got like... That's not the first toast badge, though. 
Have a great day. Oh, well, thank you anyway. F1 2022. Hey, Beaver, you made my childhood. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And the game wrapped to 17 months. Uh, hey, Beaver, amazing live streams recently. But I'm curious, why do you remove the Pokemon Go live streams? I see them amazing, and I would love to rewatch them. Yeah, I accidentally deleted one of them. They're, they still exist for members. I, I apologize. I accidentally deleted one. That was not deliberate. <laughs> I was... I was Because I've got it set up when I click record. Oh, sorry, stream. It automatically streams. And I, I didn't realize it was doing that, and I was getting really annoyed. I was having to delete them because it kept on making them. And then I accidentally clicked because it kept on doing the same thumbnail on the live stream one. So... Oopsies! <laughs> Beaver making a video accidentally deleted the stream. Yeah, <laughs> I did. Yeah, that's what we're dealing with here, guys. So, oh god, no! <laughs> it's all over the place. It's a cry for help, honestly. Okay, so, um, plot. Let's discuss plot. So it looks like crashes to planet Earth, and then he needs to get to a beacon. I don't know to to escape this planet or whatever but there's two characters and because it's you see in text it says oh this is um like was it 65 million years ago or like mankind just dis discovered earth 65 million years ago and this movie's called 65 and they crashed to a planet earth or a planet that's like got dinosaurs kind of makes you believe that well they went back in time because 65 million years ago is the late cretaceous period and there's t-rexes so, are we saying that they either time traveled and crashed on Earth, to Earth, or are we saying that humanity actually came from a different planet and colonized Earth accidentally via this way? And if we're saying that that's the case, then I'm a bit confused. <laughs> well, I'd be confused either way, uh, but I feel like these sci-fi movies are going more and more out there. Um, the more that, like, what was that moon crash or moon landing or whatever? That was bonkers. I couldn't believe when I was watching that movie where they were going with it. It was like, it went completely conspiracy theory and legit. It was like, no, no, this, this is real. The moon is hollow. It's real, believe it. So, I don't know, maybe they're like, no, this is where humanity came from. 100%. Earth's flat also. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so also the connotation is if they did travel back in time, and this is the almost like the, the genesis of humanity. This is Adam and Eve. Like, the female character in this is really young, too. Um, so that raises more questions. Adam Driver, excuse me. <laughs> uh, where is she? I've only got one image. Yeah, there you go. I, I, and this is, this is the thing. This is the Jurassic World syndrome, but it only really became a problem when Jurassic World happened with the dinosaur designs. Because, I mean, do we even need to? Do we even need to go into what this is? I, I don't know what this is. It doesn't look like any dinosaur that I've seen. <laughs> I don't know about you. <laughs> what is that face? What is this? But this, this is just a Dominus. Oh, but no, I wanted to go red. Give me me red. Thank you. Yeah, this is just a Dominus. Like this whole skull shape, like where it's it's been shrink wrapped and like even the eye sockets are like sucked in and you've got like teeth sticking out and you know when it would you know if it closed its mouth like that it would it would be like this you know it, it, it would be indominus rex levels of i don't know like that that's what it would look like and it's just indominus rex but indominus rex wasn't the first one to really spearhead the design it was actually the v-rex in king kong uh, Peter Jackson's King Kong, as everyone calls it, um, that really started the train on those sorts of designs. I don't know why. I mean, it looks it looks vicious, it looks mean, but if you're saying that, you know, we are going back in time, 65 million years ago, why do we have, like, dinosaurs that look like they're from Jurassic Park? I, like, what is this limb? <laughs> what kind of creature is this? I mean, really, all it's missing is this, right? And then you've got Dimetrodon. That's what this is. There you go. There's Dimetrodon. <laughs> I mean, it could be, right? I mean, his legs are a little bit long. It's a bit weird. But it's just got this, I don't know, new age, I guess new age, this modern CG dinosaur look to it now. Most dinosaur or monster movies have this, like, shrink-wrapped, veiny, uh, stretched skin, teeth poking out of every orifice uh, kind of look to them. It's a, it's a bit of a shame that we have a, 
our first dinosaur movie that isn't a Jurassic dinosaur movie in a long time. And they it's basically just Jurassic designs or Jurassic World designs. Uh, Poodle Diplodocus became a member. Oh, thank you. Uh, and Poodle Diplodocus. Hey, Beaver, you've been a major part of my childhood ever since the first Jurassic World the game video. And I hope you continue to make everyone around you smile. Oh, thank you. It's so wholesome. Oh, I try. Uh, but yeah, the main reason why we're doing this, moreover, as a live stream, is because I want to get your guys' opinions on this. Because I can make a video, I can rant and rave, but it's always nice to have something to bounce back off. Um, so yeah, that's why we're doing it this way. I'll delete that little thing now. So what else we got? Yeah, like like I said, you've got these like Pteranodon designs, and I think I've even got a better image of these Pteranodons. Yeah, here we go. Um, so if we, we could probably just move this around a little bit. Uh, so yeah, you've got that, this one here. So I thought they were Sungopterus at first because I saw this bit and I thought, oh yeah, that, that looks sungopterus -y, y But, I mean, it just kind of looks like a Trandon, but it does get grabbed by a bigger Trandon. Hence the reason you've got these claws grabbing onto this one. But it just shows that, you know, these designs, these Trandon designs, look fine, right? They don't look like the Dimorphodon from Jurassic World. Um, all the Trandon, they've got the crests, they've got the wings, they're kind of untouched. It's like if they went paleologically accurate for something, they did the Pteranodon spine. But when it comes to the big body... Wait, that's not the big body. <laughs> Where's the big body? That's not the big body. Big body! Yeah, this thing. What is this? <laughs> like, I mean, we've got like a small little dinosaur, this thing. And I'm assuming it's a Velociraptor, because if we look closely at it, you can see there's a sickle claw on it. So, it's a it's a Velociraptor of some sort, but, but again, it's, it's completely like, I don't know, it looks like a little mole rat, like a naked mole rat with a few, and I'm, I'm, I'm not one to talk about paleontology paleontology and um because i haven't studied it i haven't uh, graduated or anything but you know i've been in this sphere for long enough um to just question things i i, I think i you know anybody who's a fan of dinosaurs can uh you know that you should be allowed to question things why why not there we go yeah is that, is that the same one yeah that'll do okay good sorry just sorting, sorting out the music i realized it died there for a second um and what, what do people think of this? What, what do you think of this? It looks like a raptor, right? Sort sort of look like a weird dromaeosaur slash horse skull. Yeah, you're right. The long snout. It, I mean, it's got to be a raptor, right? It's like a trodon or a I don't know. It's it may even be a velociraptor, because we've never had like an accurately sized velociraptor. Um, and maybe this will be the. It could be. It could be a baby. Yeah, it could be. But I feel like this is a giant Indoraptor. <laughs> it's a Indoraptor, guys! It's the baby! It's the one that he killed or something. Delete and see, never before seen! <laughs> Where do they crash up? So, I was very interested with this, because I thought that actually, what they were going to do is, we're going to go down this rewriting history. Okay, we're going to- okay, you're going to say humanity came from this time. And it just so happened it's 64 million years ago, or 65, Whatever. Um, humanity, or at least dinosaurs, died out, right? Massive cataclysmic event. So if we're going this far to rewrite history, are these the two that crashed Earth? Make the crater, right? They make the crater because that's how the dinosaurs were supposedly killed, right? And then they just killed the dinosaurs? Like, the crater was a spaceship. They killed the dinosaurs. We as a human species do not know about our beginnings because we were i don't know i i feel like if it is just these two characters and this is like basically the adam and eve of the world over time we're not gonna be able to have the technology we're not gonna be able to make the technology anymore because he doesn't have the resources so a bit like i don't know weird weird reference to make if you know 40k at all warhammer 40k which is set if set 40 000 years in the future humanity went through a period of um, expansion and space travel and they were super super uh, futuristic but 
the AI eventually turned on them and then they weren't able to make machines anymore because they didn't learn it. It was all, you know, aut autonomized by machines. And maybe this is how it happens. Like he's got all of this technology to start with. And then over time, you just forget it. And then we become stupid monkey men and slowly evolve again, you know, relearn our things. I don't know. It, it's, it's a possibility of a way the movie could go down. It would be a very weird one if it did it. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's uh, that's the, I don't know, some sort of raptor. But it's this thing. I think I've, there's two shots of this. So this is so, so strange to me, this, this creature. Uh, because this is the main antagonist of the movie, right? So we'll move it out here. Um, I, I don't even know, man. Let, let's try and draw this thing the best we can. So you've got the hind limb. This, like I said, if there's anything design inspired, this is Indoraptor. <laughs> Not only does it have the spikes, it walks on all fours. It has this outline, yeah, do the little teeth there. Um, and then you go up here, you got the head. Like, you could imagine, like, what what can we see so far? Th this is what we see. It's got its, and put the sickle claw there just to make sure it looks like Indoraptor as well. There you go. Uh oh. <laughs> Ignore that bit. Oh, you can see it. Okay, and then you, like, it's just Indoraptor. <laughs> Like, they deliberately have covered that for the front limb in smoke. Giga. It's not a giga. It's such a long body, though, and it's so slim. Can we bring an Indoraptor? Hold on. Hold on. Have we got Indoraptor? Uh, anyone in members have an Indoraptor handy? Or can grab me an Indoraptor real quick? Hey, member where you at? <laughs> member gone. Member die. <laughs> Hold on. Indoraptor. Let's get this. Let's get this up. Because I want to see like a side profile. Ha <laughs> ha! Perfect. Thank you. Jurassic World Evolution. Maybe we set this to screen. We can scale it down. A screen. Screen. Yep. We'll flip it as well. There you go. I mean... Okay, so he's, he's up a little bit, right? Like, but apart from that, yeah, <laughs> it almost fits perfectly into the leg. <laughs> oh, you, you could if you wanted to. You could just like break it, you know, you could. Okay, let's take this, this leg. Let's, let's move this forward. Let's, uh, <laughs> you could so do it. And then you could grab that bit of the leg, bend that backwards, put that there. <laughs> You could make your own Indoraptor. It's it's such a weird design choice, though. This whole thing. If we look at the other image, I mean, this it looks like it has to be. It's leaning forward so much that there's only a, one other explanation that it's actually on its front limbs, which means that it can't be a T-Rex because if it was a T-Rex, it would be on the floor now. Like this bit where like the camera moves from side to side. You're like, okay, that's the full face. So you got this side which with the normal eye and then you got this side which shows the eye that's been burnt or shot or something but also these movies even this newest one can't seem to get away from the trope that is um jurassic park tropes in general so we have like the young girl character who screams so of course it's like lex you also have adam driver's character who's like Run! Which is just... Oh, come on! No! No, no, no! I, I, I was... I thought we were done with... Run! But no, we're not! Why? <laughs> that was Claire's line! Like, they deliberately put it in every friggin' movie because it was like, Oh, it can't be a Jurassic movie without someone saying run. It can be. And it can be an alright one. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Hold on, my bad. Let me get through. So, spaceship spaceship crash yeah this thing and it, it's just like it's like an ai has generated dinosaurs it's like you went you put indominus rex indoraptor the v-rex from you know peter jackson king kong and it just went you went generate dinosaur four limbs 
go. And it just it just made these things. They they are I I understand where people think they're boring, bland, and uninspired. I personally do as well. I'm kinda curious, do you guys think they are? When you gotta run, you gotta run, yeah. <laughs> That's what they should have said, Dressing World. Uh, maybe I'd be like, ah, okay, fair enough. Ah, interesting. Somebody just said, sorry, I didn't catch you there. What if these are mutations? Run or run? Looks more like alien. I mean, the thing is, we have a, a, a skeleton. We get a skeleton of it as well, of like a, a T-Rex. You gotta go when you gotta go. Not the mutation again. <laughs> yeah, sorry. So, Murder Most Foul says, maybe aliens that happen to look like dinosaurs? I mean, possibly, but the trailer says, humanity discovered mankind. Haha, <laughs> look at his face. He's like, wait, what? That's a dinosaur? Oh, good God! <laughs> right, 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 okay. Yeah, oh God, we're gonna... Can I can I get to scrub through? Oh, I can't really scrub through this. Oh, okay, well I can kind of show pictures. So yeah, I mean that's obviously not a gun that humanity has at the moment. I, I think that's pretty obvious. Yeah. Well, well, actually, we can scoot it down here. Let's see. Am I allowed? Am I allowed? Is it okay? Yeah, baby, here we go. I'm, I'm working it. It's doing good. Hold on, hold on. I got this, I got this one. I got this. Easy peasy. Easy peas. Hold on, we're gonna scoot this a little bit. Then we're gonna bring this thing in. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Sword, but I need to make sure that it's all in. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, your buds. Almost. Almost. There we go. Sorted. Now we can scrub through, kind of. Yeah, so 65. Trailer starts now! So yeah, you get this whole scene with, like, the spaceship crashing and I'm driving going, No! Don't know what Bron is. Yeah, come out. Have a look at it. Destroyed. So this is where we say, Ah, there is an Asaurus. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know about you. Does it look very similar to the Therizinosaurus scene? I want to hear what you, you guys have to say. I personally feel like actually they might have reused some of the set from Jurassic World Dominion here. No? Okay. Uh, hey, we got more super chats. Maynard Boss Camp. I do not really have high hopes for this movie, but we'll see. I think it's always good to enter these things with a good air of skepticism because nobody wants to be let down, but hey ho. Um, we've got Task Force Taylor, thanks for the super chat, and that Mario guy. First, they added a humpback to the Giga, and now they ha they gave an alien Rex the worst chi chiropractor. <laughs> yeah, it does look like it broke its back. Yeah, this looks so similar to the Therizinosaurus scene. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, crazy. The quiet place. I mean, they've got all this futuristic technology that it's definitely like these people are from the future. 100%. And producer Sam Raimi. So yeah, I mean, you have this T-Rex, but weirdly enough, you could say it's flesh on it, but it kind of looks like it's like fabric of some sort. Maybe it is? Maybe this is like the T-Rex that part of the... You know what? You could be right, actually. Because when the spaceship crashes, it does look like there's other parts of it. So possibly it did mutate a dinosaur. Hmm. You could be right, although... It... Do I want to see that movie? Is the question. Get to the chop. <laughs> Yeah, and then you've got the geezer that explodes. 65. See, I mean, there you have it, like 65 million years ago. And then I think it says mankind discovered. Yeah, then you get the T-Rex. Humans discovered Earth. So pretty much black and white there. The movie's saying, this, this is about humanity discovering 
Earth 65 million years ago. We didn't evolve from primates. All right? Stupid. <laughs> it's like, well, if we evolved from primates, why are there still primates? It's because we're aliens, okay? And this Earth was actually the dinosaur's planet. And then we went, die. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, this thing. Like. It just looks like it's got the anatomy of a. of like a tiger, but with the head of a T Rex. It's so odd that they. I mean, I could only think that the, the design department chose this because they were like. Well, like, Indominus Rex is, like, the most searched for and most liked dinosaur in the entire franchise. Which it is. Like, let's be honest. I, like, even I've done polls on, on YouTube asking, like, okay, guys, what's your favorite kind of dinosaur in the franchise? Stuff like that. If you put Indominus Rex in there, it wins hands down. So, obviously, Universal or whoever made this, I don't think it was Universal, actually. It's Sony Pictures. They looked at this and went, okay, we're going to make a dinosaur movie. Make it look like Indominus. <laughs> I'm not the only one, right? I'm not the only one who thinks this. And then they went, actually, let's make it like an Indoraptor as well. It looks like an Indoraptor combined with a Rex head. You're right. Can't wait for this movie to come. I, I mean, I'll definitely go see it, 100%. It's just, it is interesting to, to see how much of an impact the Jurassic franchise has had on just dinosaurs in general when we have this movie you know that was made long after Indominus Rex was a thing Indominus Rex came out in 2015 can you imagine seven years ago eight years ago now and yet we're still seeing the ripple effects of that throughout dinosaur movies and this is just one of them especially um, because I mean it, it goes down and then can we turn off volume play a little bit can I play? Yeah, look at that! 100%! It, like, it does like the Indo Indominus Rex thing of like going down and like looking at the floor. <laughs> and I'm assuming because this is like... Uh, this could be the first encounter with the, uh, with the Rex. Because you, you're back in these salt plains. Or whatever they call them. Giza fields. Um, sulfur fields. And then it looks like straight after this bit, when it leans down, it gets hit. It might even get shot. I feel like Adam might shoot it in the eye. That's why it turns its head that way. Because we've seen that its right eye is damaged. And it goes off to, like, protect its right eye. Because if you get shot in that eye, you're not going to go, ah, and present it to the thing. You're going to pull it away. So I feel like that's where it gets shot by him for the first time. Um, and then they have to get to a beacon... Kind of just like, I mean, there's only so much you can do, but it's a good way to explore this world. Is a world, if it's not just ours. And then more symbology of Adam and Eve thing. I don't know. <laughs> and balls that explode into things. Not exactly sure what they do, but it's space technology. It's like Ark, in a way. It's like really weird looking dinosaurs, but also Ark. <laughs> Hey, the wild tyrant with the super chat. Hey, have been watching since Jurassic Park Builder. Thanks for the good content, lol. Don't know what you mean by lol. <laughs> He's just saying since Jurassic Park Builder. I hope you are enjoying your day. I'm having a lovely day. I love it when I get to tear apart dinosaur designs. <laughs> it's not terrible. I, I would just love to know the reason why. I'd love to like ask the design department. Be like, what made you decide on like Indominus Rex dinosaurs, you know, when you have this chance. I mean, maybe when you we see the movie, it'll make sense. But like when it came to Peter Jackson's King Kong and they made the V-Rex, you know, that that was the first start of this these teeth everywhere that was in the mainstream audience, or at least that I remember. And it was so cool looking. And then it was like, right, okay, everybody loves that. Let's make Indominus Rex. And then it was like, okay, everyone loves Indominus Rex. Let's make this thing. Uh, Elliot Wizard has gifted a membership. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. I don't even know how you do that. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> right, what else do we got? Um, I mean, 
I don't know what to expect from the plot. I mean, this must be a different part of the spaceship that they're trying to get to. Like, that has a beacon. And maybe a volcano erupts, because, you know, it's a dinosaur movie. Here's the close-up shot showing the eye that was shot before. Saying that, though, the... It could be that he shoots the T-Rex in the eye. It, it goes like, oh, no, why? And then it comes back, and then you get this shot of it close up. Because it is the same sort of lighting. Yeah, could be. Um, and then this. I mean, just look at that design with those spikes. It is one million percent Indominus Rex. Like the way it looks and everything, but it's like sort of crouched. Like it would be an Indoraptor. I don't know, man. And then this thing here. I mean, that that's it in all of its glory right there. In fact, hold on. Two seconds, guys. Let's... I'm pretty sure I took that. I don't know. We'll see. And then you're 65. It's a weird name for a movie. Oh, yeah. And then, like, I think this is just after, like, this weird thing appears. And then, I don't know, Adam Driver comes in and, like, bonks it over the head. Or, I don't know, it gets distracted even by something else. And then it's like, oh, it's safe. Ah, get pulled. <laughs> you know. You know what I mean. You know exactly how this is going to play out. The psych out. They always do the psych out. It's like, oh, danger. Oh, wait, no, it's okay. And then... Then the thing happens. See it so many times. <laughs> I'm sick of it. <laughs> Bring like Kyla Watts in the airplane going, it's okay, we're safe. Or like the random scream from her. It's not the actress's fault, it's the writer's. It's this whole Marvel DC, well not DC, Marvel um, script writing that's just infiltrated the mainstream media and made everything the way it is now, unfortunately. Um, Kaiju Park, good morning! Yeah. Well, it's night for me because it's 12 o'clock. It's actually 12 a.m.? Yeah. Uh, good day to you, Beavs. Thank you. Uh, Sup, Steve? Yeah. Looks like Turok 2007, the movie. I'm trying to remember 2007. God, you're right. Is that the one I played? 2007? Yeah, no, those designs, you're 100% right. It does look like those. They were brilliant. Hold on. Let's bring up some of those Turok designs, man. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are now going to bring in... We're going to make the design board for how this, how this movie got made, okay? Right, okay. That's what we're going to do. All right, so first off, it's a movie about dinosaurs, okay? So, we're going to bring in Indominus Rex because... I mean, why else would you have anything else? Indominus Rex is the selling point. Hell yeah. So we've got Indominus Rex. Well, what else do we need? Indoraptor. Do I have that? Is that there? Yes. Yes. And then we have Indoraptor because of course we have Indoraptor. So if we have a look at its design, what else does it look like? Where are you? Where are you? Yeah, so this is the crater, and I was thinking that, you know, this is how, I don't know, it all started, in a way. Like, we thought that it was a meteor that destroyed the dinosaurs, when actually it was their spaceship um, that crashed into the Earth, and it's just, that's what we, the conclusion we've came to. If they go completely conspiracy theory, I'm kind of, I'm kind of game for it, because I just want, I just want to see something different. <laughs> There is it. There you are, babes. Right. Okay. So yes, we still need. I just type in V-Rex. Will it come up? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. There it is. I mean, that's not the one from the movie. Yeah. I mean, that'll do. Gets the point across. So it all started with kind of this guy, this V-Rex. Just delete some of it. Me. Me. Meh. Meh. I mean, even down to its weird hind legs, like, is what that thing has. Like, just, you, you, you put all these in a blender, and then you have that. <laughs> just like, yep, there you go, all done. That's very good, okay. Um, I don't know, what do you think? Hey, excited! How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Aliens ground them, mutate dinosaurs to hunt them. Oh? Oh? 
So that you think they get shot down by aliens, and then the aliens mutate the dinosaur species to hunt them down? You know what? It doesn't sound too far-fetched. Is it what? Oh! <laughs> Oh, you're right. I'm an idiot. <laughs> nah. So Whitney's just came in to tell me that I misspelled the new dinosaur movie. And I'm... I, but I've, let's discuss new dinosaur move. <laughs> 65. <laughs> I'm sure someone in the comments has been trying to, like, correct me the whole time. Be like, oh, God's sake. Oh, yeah. But I, I just kind of wanted to come on here and... Um, just sort of discuss with you guys. What do you think? Beaver, need to go to school? I don't. Do you? Ha! <laughs> I mean, that... I I guess... It... Yeah, I guess what Excited said could be true. Like, aliens mutate them. But it, it just sounds... I don't know. I guess if we're going this far, sure. If we're making Indominus Rex dinosaurs... Like, does... Does the T-Rex... Hold on, do I not have? I mean, it's probably got more like a... I don't know. It's not an allosaur head. But it's it's more broad than that. But it, it's it got the grey colouring of Indominus. It's got the weird sort of crouched down back of maybe the V-Rex. But then also got the forelimbs and back of Indoraptor. And not only that, but it, it has spikes on it. It has... I mean, look at the claws! Look at that long, like, finger it's got. Which is exactly what Indominus Rex had. Indominus Rex had these weird, like, long fingers. What if we are seeing, like, a Jurassic World tie-in? And <laughs> they just call it... You know, because they do that. You had Cloverfield, and you had loads of other Cloverfield sort of movies that weren't called Cloverfield. Imagine, imagine. But they've, they've teamed up with Sony Pictures to bamboozle everybody. That would be hilarious. Kaiju Park with a super chat. If Sam Raimi, Raimi is directing this, then Bully Maguire is gonna throw some dirt in the dino's eyes. Also, when will we have feather dinos in a movie? Is that Sam Raimi's, Raimi's Spider-Man? Oh my God, I didn't make the connection. Wow, okay. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Ethan Holiday. The antagonist is Indorex Raptor 5. <laughs> hey, Chris! Oh, how you doing? Hello, from the other side of the world. How's midday doing for you? Is it good? Because it's night over here. <laughs> Big fan of the claws, to be honest. Well, who isn't? How could you not be? But it's just, it's just like, I mean, we've seen it all before. If we're going back to view or at least have another reshot at some dinosaur designs. Why are we going back to Universal's scraps? Can we not do something different? I mean, uh, let's not argue semantics, right? This design right here is what we as a consumer or a, uh, you know, a general audience has come to know of dinosaurs. And still feathers are seen as this weird thing. Like, what, six foot turkey? Like, you know, so this design makes absolute sense why they would do it. It's safe. It's, you know, dinosaurs are supposed to be scary. Scary things or things like this. But at the same time, you know, making something look scary is, it kind of defeats it in a way. Like, I find if you make something that doesn't look scary, for instance, but then you make it scary, not by making it like giving it the evil eyebrows or anything like that or making it scaly or God knows what. Put it in a scenario where it is scary, you know, craft a story like that. That's, you know, that's where you see the, the true, like, I don't know what you'd call it. Just the things that stick out in the horror genre loads, right? Like, I mean, you see Mike Myers, you don't think he's that scary or, you know, but it's, it's how he's introduced, how, how he is on film. It's a bit like Chucky as well. Like the doll doesn't look that scary unless you're scared of dolls. Um... I don't know. It, it, it could it could be like Dilophosaurus as well. Like that was scary because of its introduction, because of its frill. And it was like it made a terrifying noise. It had this huge frill. It was iconic. So much so they didn't include it until the last film. 
<laughs> oh, okay, we got loads of super chats to get through. Uh, what are your expectations when watching non-Jurassic licensed dinosaur movies? Low. But that's mainly because a lot of dinosaur non-budget movies that come out... Um, oh, sorry, non-budget. Not non-budget, non-licensed. Uh, have low budget. Um, I don't think it's impossible to make good dinosaur movies. Of course not. And you could... I want to see it. I think it's doable. Um, but yeah, when I go into a dinosaur movie nowadays, and I do think that, it's like, oh, like I mean, name a dinosaur movie that came out recently in the theaters or whatever that wasn't a Jurassic and was good. I mean, oh, I guess apart from documentaries and stuff like that, that's where you can really let that shine. But I don't know. I, it's a shame. Baluki, how you doing? Baluki. <laughs> Someone had unlocked a Hypo Tyrannosaurus Rex, I see. I mean, that, yeah, you're right. Hold on, hold on. I mean, the aisle is... Wow, type in the aisle, Hypo Rex is the first thing that comes up. I mean, it, it's got smaller teeth, but yeah, it is very much like a Hypo Rex. I'm trying to find like an actual screenshot of one, but I can only... Hold on, hold on. So, this is a Hypo Rex from the aisle. It... <laughs> you know what I mean? There's so many sources that you could uh, you could have for this kind of design. It's, it's, it's not... It's not original. It really isn't. And it's just a shame that this looks like a big budget movie. And unfortunately, it's just like, ah, whatever. I know, that's my two cents. Uh, Collectosaurus Rex and beyond Jurassic plus Star Wars plus E.T. Well, you're right about that because it does have Adam Driver in. <laughs> Let's have a look. What else can we... I want to see something. Something new. Something grab me. Yeah. The I mean, it's kind of cute, but at the same time, it's still this... It, it just looks like a naked mole rat. Looks like a touch it and it would be like... It would make that... <laughs> it be like made of jelly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they, maybe they do drop a bomb or something. I don't know. If, if we're going down the alien route, I mean, we're in space. We've got space guns, space lasers. Apparently, these guys are. I mean, they're technically aliens, I suppose, unless they went back in time. But it's like, why would they go back in time other to then to retrieve something that? I don't know. I, don't, don't do time travel, please don't, because it just gets messy. No one likes it. But yeah, that is, that is so Therizinosaurus. Maybe he dropped into the Biosyn facility. <laughs> Baluki, scaly Tyrannosaurus Rex was proven correct with scale impressions, just like in Prehistoric Planet. But maybe babies had fluff. By the way, I was the guy with the car car tooth. Car car tooth. Oh, hold on. Oh, yes. No, now I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine the time travel machine destroyed. Well, that's what I'm thinking. May if, if we're going to go down the time travel route, then maybe it is, you know, broken. And then this is the start of humanity. And it was always going to be this way, you know. How's profit? <laughs> How's profit? Says Thor Duringo. <laughs> I don't, I, don't, I don't know how is profit. Profit profit on this will be very good because people love dinosaur movies that have a you know a star in them. It was Chris Pratt in Jurassic World in this 65. It'll be Adam Driver. So as long as you've got like the star power of at least one actor, you've got decent CG, you got a decent budget for marketing, which this definitely has, and just generally for production. Yeah, I, I can I can see this doing well, but it's just like I don't I don't understand why we are doing, you know, this. <laughs> it's safe. It is a hundred percent safe. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. So wait, what? March seventeenth? Only in cinemas. March seventeenth. I thought it was March tenth. Did I get that wrong? Or I guess it depends on where you're, where you are actually. Maybe March 10th was in the US. Could have been. Hold on, I want to see that gun. Mmm, look at those fingernails. Mmm, they've been bitten down. 
<laughs> Adam Driver is a nail biter. There you go. You heard it here first. I want to find the the part of yeah yeah hold on hold on this bit so you get a perfect side of the dinosaur and I still think this is after it was shot or something. But look at that jaw. Ugh. It's like a giga 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 <laughs> giga chatosaurus. Hey, we all oh, we got super chats coming through like crazy. <laughs> uh, Pooh the Plodocus. The Tyranno thing looks like a hypo delta dromius. I I mean I know the hypo. I don't know about the delta dromius. I'm assuming that's something else. Jurassic creator, a member for 90 months. Well done. I think since the dinosaurs are antagonistic in the films like this, the creators make them look like monsters, so general audiences fear them instantly. Yeah, oh, 100%, like, design these things, look at them. Do they look like the good guys from movies? No. <laughs> no, they do not. I mean, you got it right, but at the same time, it's like, ah, we've seen it. Uh, Blueky, hmm, sales would be higher if it were 69 million years ago. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Hold on. But if you close your eyes... Emotional sanity! Emotional sanity! Emotional sanity! Well done. Well done. <laughs> Imagine if they did that. <laughs> Imagine if the movie was just called 69. <laughs> That would be hilarious. They definitely wouldn't do it. They didn't go for 64 because 64 million years ago. Well, that'll be the sequel. But also, that's when the dinosaurs went extinct. They didn't do 69 because they didn't want to be. They didn't want to meme it. If anybody's watching from Sony, please. I'd love that. I'd love to ask Adam Driver questions about dinosaurs. Was Was Jurassic Park? Did that say 65 million years in the making? Was that, their, was that their tagline for Jurassic Park? I know they had like so many million years in the making. Maybe. Gaming Beaver, have you seen the old Dinosaur Island movie from like 10 years ago? It had plenty of feathered dinosaurs and its plot was thrilling. Have you seen it? Dinosaur Island? No. Did that have a Dinosaur Island movie? Oh, 2014? No, I think I might have seen this. Okay, so you see... This is what Hollywood wants you to see. What you really want to see? <laughs> That's what we want. There we go. Yeah. My friend designed that, Rex. What, really? This one. Why? <laughs> anyway. Anyway, I don't, I don't want to stay here too much longer. Um, Kaiju Park. Well, the super chat. Eva, this is clearly a Venom Rex. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. It's good. You know what needs to happen in this. Right. So, it kneels down. Right. So, first off, we haven't heard the T-Rex yet. Okay. So, I'm expecting like a generic Rex kind of roar. You know, like a lion and elephant sort of sounds. But when it's doing this bit, right, I want it to go... go, 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 go. It needs to do that sound effect, you know, like the Indominus Rex does it. Any monster nowadays makes this guttural noise. And I don't know where it came from, but it, it's it's so annoying to me now because everything does it. Even that, like, terrible Disney Pinocchio remake with um, Monstro or whatever. It, like, chases Pinocchio and goes, G -g 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 like, after him, like, stop it, please! <laughs> Do not be original for once. Kaiju Park again with a super chat. What's this other sound? Kaiju Park did a super chat. There we go. Uh, if T-Rex dangerous, why fluffy and friend-shaped? Yeah, because that's the... What's it called? Subverting expectations. It looks friendly, but it's not. That's why, that's why the Dilo did so well. He's like, ah, it's fine. He's having a conversation with it. Uh, Minard Voskamp says, but the dinos went extinct 66 million years ago. No, they went extinct 64 million years ago, wasn't it? Please tell me more. Because I went to, there's a place in um, where I'm from, in Newcastle, called the Center for Life. And it's like, it's like a place where they, I don't know, it's for kids, basically, to learn and discover science and stuff like that. But I remember, like, plucking up the courage during, like, a, a seminar, like, you know, with the kids, and it was like a, I don't know, it was like a lecture. And um, the guy was like, does anybody know how long ago the dinosaurs lived? And I was like, 
this is my time to shine, baby. And I put my hand up. I went, 64 million years ago. And he went, well, actually, that's when the dinosaurs died out. But if you close the eyes, emotional balance. <laughs> I can't believe he did me like that. I was like, come on, you could have just went, yeah. <laughs> you could have went, yeah, they also died that time. Yeah. But he was like, no, I'm going to shut this kid down and be like, actually, that's when they died out. They lived, like, from... He wanted it, like, and then another kid went from, like, 200 million years to 65 million years ago. I was like, choo, 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 choo. <laughs> I was like you little buggy. I was me. I think they're trying to imply that humans didn't exist on Earth naturally. And that's why we don't really fit into the ecosystem now. That's why when, it, like, as we're evolving, in quotations, as we're sort of advancing technology and stuff the world is going out of whack and all this jazz because we're not from this planet this planet isn't made for us um and maybe you know like a lot of futuristic plots that happen have this like our like earth is so polluted and rubbish that we now need to find a new earth like avatar so i wouldn't be surprised if like this is similar it's like oh wait they went back in time to try and find you know a, a source of something or or maybe they were trying to find a different planet and then actually they accidentally went through a black hole or something and went back in time. Uh, something like that. I, I could imagine that. Um, Pro C wants a song. Okay, you're gonna get this one. You get a good song. I think I've, I think I've rambled about this long enough, um, but yeah. Thank you, everybody, who's tuned in. Hopefully, I've answered well. I mean, I don't know what to expect. I'm, I'm excited for it. I haven't got my expectations too high. I mean, the main draw for this, for me personally, is dinosaurs and the designs. And, you know, when you've got so much... That's why I like Avatar 2 so much. Like, just... But those, like, there's just a scene in it, in there, when you're underwater. No dialogue, no nothing. And you're just exploring this world that, like, doesn't exist. That's freaking cool. And that was worth, like, the entry, like, price of entry for me. Like, I don't care about the plot or anything. I was just like, I want to see something that I cannot see. Um, and movies allow us to see that. That's why I'm just annoyed that this is just, like, Indominus Rex again. Because <laughs> you put, I don't know how, what the budget is for it, but it's just Indominus Rex again. Uh, Kirk White Lion, even primeval designs, looked more like dinosaurs. And that was a long time ago. Good God. But yes, anyway, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, if there is, like, another trailer that drops or something like that, if it, if it is enough to go into, uh, maybe we'll make a video. Uh, but I, I kind of like just talking through it with you guys on here. This is loads of fun. I like to spitball back and forth with you. Um, so, yeah, thank you, everyone. Uh, this was an interesting little thing we did. Hopefully, it was a little bit messy. But we're okay at the end. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you're watching it on video, leave a like. Or if you're watching on the stream, leave that like. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.